Welcome to the first video in a series on Intro to Calculus. I'm doing these videos basically because there's a lot of things about calculus that I wish I had uh, just been told explicitly right off the bat before I even started into it. It would have made things a lot easier for me. So that's my purpose for this and uh, I hope that I can reveal a couple key aspects here that will make your calculus course run a lot smoother. Okay, so the first thing I'd like to introduce is this idea of a function. In grade 11, we started, you know, while well, grade 10 we looked at um, equations like y is equal to x squared, y squared plus x squared is equal to 4. This, of course, is a circle with a radius of 2, and this is just a parabola. And we got introduced to this right here. This is this function notation, f at x. And we learned that this is a function, and this is not a function. Okay? So uh, both of these are relations, but only one of them is a function. And we developed this new notation, function notation. So instead of saying y is equal to x squared, we now say f at x is equal to x squared. So the function, uh, this part here, at x, at the value x, uh, is equal to some particular value. And so we, we learned about that, and we learned about how to tell whether something is a function or not, whether a relation is a function or not. Of course, here we see the parabola is a function because it passes the vertical line test. So if you draw a line and it cuts through the function in one spot only, then it is a function. And if you draw a line and it goes through the function at two places, then it is not a function. Now, why is that important? Well, like a lot of things we learned in grade 11 that we didn't really know why we were learning them, it all has to do with calculus, okay? So we're going to see right now what this has to do with calculus. And actually, let's go over here for a sec. This is, okay, there's a really important part here. This is uh, Nelson, Nelson, Nelson uh, Calculus and Vectors. So if you're a student in Ontario, you'll, you'll have this book. So what is calculus? So there's two points here. The uh, and it states that the problem, cal uh, calculus is the problem of tangents and the problem of areas. So if we look at this little diagram here, the red line here is a tangent, and the green area underneath the curve uh, is, well, it's an area under a curve. And that's what we're trying to find with calculus. Those are the two fundamental things. They're, they're related, and those are the things that we're trying to find. With that in mind, let's go back over here. Why is it important that one of these things is a function and one of them is not? Well, it's important because in calculus, we can only do calculus on things that are functions. So, for instance, the parabola was a function. As you can see, we can find, you know, we can use calculus to find the equation of the tangent. And we can also use calculus to find the area underneath the curve in a, at a particular spot. But what about the circle? If you look at a circle at a particular value of x, look, it has two tangents, two of them. So which one is it? I don't know. This is a good example of a relation that can't be differentiated. When I say differentiated, that means to do calculus on it. And what about the problem of the area underneath the curve? Same thing. What, what part is it? Is it the part below the axis or above? We don't really know. So certain relations uh, have new names now, and we name the relations functions uh, because those are the ones that we can use calculus to uh, to find the, t the slope of the tangent or area under the curve. The functions that um, cannot do that, we can't do calculus on. That's a very key thing to, to understand. So part one of this video series, what you should take away from this video, is that not all relations are functions, and the reason why we make that distinction in the first place is because it's 
only functions that we can do calculus on. Okay? Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you stick around for part two.